So thanks for the introduction, David. So a little bit of information about me just before we get started. So I'm Stuart Baxter, as David said. I am Power Platform Lead at Digpacks based in the UK. We are a, a healthcare partner with Microsoft and we work primarily with NHS Trusts. Um, I am co-founder at Scottish Power Platform User Group or SPUG alongside Charlie Phipps Bennett, who many of you will know, and also Josh Gillis and Rani Colhoun. I've been a Microsoft Biz Apps MVP since last year. It's got renewed for the first time just a few weeks ago. And one of my favourite things to do is contribute to the community on calls like this. So today we're going to talk about, as we said, super simple sharing in Canvas apps. So I'm going to go through a few little concepts that we're going to need to understand before we get started. Um, anyone who's been following me on LinkedIn and things will know my approach to sharing security roles by including them associated with a team. So the first action we want to look at today is the Dataverse Relate action, where we can pass in a record, for example, user.teams, team member association, which we see down the bottom there, and we pass in the associated record. So just to make this super duper clear, I've got two variables set in my code down there, set global selected user, to DRP drop down select user dot selected. We then have our team, GBL selected team from drop down select team dot selected. And that is going to relate our two parts here. Ignore this well block of code here. Um, broke my own number one rule of writing comments and put a comment in that makes absolutely no sense. Ignore that for now. But yeah, really simple action, the relate action selected user.teams and then the team you want to associate with it. Um, anyone who's followed me, me on LinkedIn and stuff who have seen this concept before, just wanted to bring this to the table for anyone who hasn't. So it's one thing sharing with that team. We also need to give the user access to the app. And for this, we can use the Power Platform from Makers Connector. This is an out-of-the-box Microsoft connector with some really powerful actions to help makers. And some of the key ones we're going to go through today is get apps and also get app row, sorry, edit app row assignment. We'll start by going through the get app action. We can provide an app name and it returns the app good. Um, worth mentioning it's get apps plural. So when we search for this, it's going to give us all of them. We then want to filter by properties.display name to our app called sharing is caring. And really, really strangely, the GUID that we want back isn't dot ID, it's dot name. So just to walk everyone through that super quickly, we'll set global app GUID to the first record returned by a filter on power apps for makers dot get apps dot value, where properties dot display name equals sharing is caring, and we want to return back the name property from there. Store that in our variable that we're going to use later on. Our second one we need to know about here is the edit app role assignment action. We pass in an app that we want to share and an object containing some de details about the user. And the outcome there is it will share the app with the user. So just walking through that from the previous screen, we're passing in GBL app GUID. And we then pass through this object here, starting with put. And within our object, we have some properties, a role name, which is can view for Accessing the app as a user, you can also pass in can edit, which would give someone co-ownership of an app. We have the capabilities area, which isn't relevant for this particular demonstration. We do have to pass in an empty object if we are not using that though. We then have notify share target option. We can pass in notify or we can pass in an empty string. If we pass in notify, the user will get an email at the end to say, Stuart Baxter has shared this app with you. And last but not least, we pass in our principal object here from the, the relate action that we looked at before, GBL selected user, dot primary email in our email field, Azure AD object ID from our ID field. We could also pass them in from the enter ID table passing in slightly different values. But from a Dataverse perspective, we would use primary email and Azure AD object ID. We can pass in type for the purpose of 
this demo we're doing user but you can also pass in group as well so if you want to share your app with a an entry id group in this way you certainly could it's not a problem at all and last but not least tenant id you will notice there that is passed in as null and this is a little trick i've found out um in the past i have stored the tenant id in an environment variable that then involves getting that environment variable getting the value passing it in and it works just fine if you pass in null so let's not go to all the effort of getting something that we don't need in this case we're just going to pass in null so let's pull it all together and see what that looks like appreciate that's quite small on the screen there so just to walk everyone through we are going to set a variable for the selected user from our drop down on the first screen there set another variable for our selected team relate that team with that user we're then going to get the GUID for the app through power apps for makers.getapps.value properties dot display name equals sharing is caring and last but not least we're going to pass all that together into power apps for makers edit app role assignment global app global app dot name our object that we spoke about a moment ago and the outcome will look something just like this so we'll drop it here and we'll edit our sharing is caring app I wish you'd have got things ready just before this just be a moment okay so we've got a really really simple app here called sharing is caring we are being asked to wait we'll just be a second hopefully Hopefully not much longer. We can just play some emotional music while we all gear up and yeah, ready for your... <laughs> oh, good. Ready to go. Thanks, David. So I'm going to pop to our sharing screen. And we have our drop-down select user. This is just a list of users. I use the user lookup view because that contains the columns that I need. You can use any view you like, though. Second drop-down here, that's just our teams. And if we pop into play in our app, we're going to select test user. We can see on the right here, test user doesn't have any teams. Strangely, I don't have any teams either. That's fine though. So we can pop in here and we can select a team. Let's go with our contact and account user just for simplicity. And we're going to share. And just like that, we've got our team shared. We've got our security role, also called contact and account user already shared with that team anyone who's been following me on linkedin and things will know that's that's how i do teams and moment of truth we're going to pop into here and we'll give this a little refresh and all going well we should in just a moment have an email telling us we have access and good old network web app is going very very slowly Let's have a wee look in here. We're going to close our app for now, just for demonstration purposes. See, waiting on an email. Oh, we have a ping. Here we are. So just like going into the app and manually sharing, you can trigger that automated email that was through our, our notify part that we looked at. And just for the purpose of making sure everything all looks okay, we don't have to do this. This is just for our demo. I'm going to pop it to share and we can see test user has access as a user and in power platform admin center we can open up test user and we can see that team contact and account user has also been shared as well through a relate action and that is the end of my demo it's nothing particularly complicated I'm just going to bring this one up on screen if anyone has any other questions around implementing security and so on, on within your apps, by all means, reach out to me on LinkedIn. And I've also included there the documentation for the Power Apps for, for App Maker Connector as well. Um, one thing that's really elegant about this solution, and where I really enjoy this, is providing that you have the correct security permissions, you don't have to be a system admin to press this button within our sharing is caring app sale. 
Um, a few points to mention. You definitely need access to append and append to users and to teams, because effectively that's relating those two together. If you are putting someone into a team that has a security role, you must have more permissions than that user. So a little example, let's say we've got a sharing is caring app and you have three security roles in there. You have sharer that has basic access. You have application admin that has slightly more access. And then you have system admin at the top of that, a regular standard system administrator role. System administrators could give access to app admins. App admins have to have the same permissions or more than sharers, for example. Um, one quirk I did notice as well, you do also need access to read permission from the, now which entity is it, queues. I haven't quite figured out why you need that permission yet. I am diving into that a bit deeper. I will have a blog post coming in the next maybe two or three days, fully explaining all the security permissions you need. But the key thing to mention is you don't necessarily need system administrator. And that brings me to the end of my demo.